Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to my Chanel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So... Today's video is one of many that I'm sure you've seen floating around YouTube at the moment. I didn't know whether to film this because everyone's doing it, but you guys wanted to know my opinion, so doing it for you. I'm basically testing out the Rihanna Fenty makeup range. Ooh. I'm basically letting you guys know what I think you should spend your money on. Because I'm gonna be honest, I don't think you need to buy all of it. You'll see in the video, but there's some things I wouldn't even bother. But there is some bits in here which I definitely think is worth trying out. Yeah. Like I said, I know there's a lot of these videos going around at the moment. We're all like jumping on it. We want to test it. But I have tried not to watch any so I can sit down here and basically give you guys like my real impression so I'm not like influenced by anything. So yeah, that's what I'm coming at you guys with today. That's what your girl's doing. So yeah, if you do want to know my opinion on it and whether I think it is worth you guys spending your coins on, just keep watching. Okay, so in this little package here, I have all of the Rihanna makeup bits that I picked up. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. So basically, I picked up all of the makeup that I would actually use. Otherwise, I'm just like, what's the point? You're just gonna be chilling in my drawer, you know? I did put things in my basket, but then I had to just keep it real and be like, girl, are you actually gonna use them? Are you actually gonna use them? Honestly, I have to talk myself out of things, otherwise, like... So I have the primer, foundation, contour stick, highlight stick, duo highlighter, and lip gloss. So that's six things. I feel like that's pretty good going. Right, I'm going to quit with this and actually get into what you want to see, the makeup. So the first thing that I have to try is the Soft Matte Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Oh, that's a long name. It says on it, smooth, pore diffusing finish and extended makeup wear. Let's see. Now this is £24, which for a primer, I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty expensive. But then to be fair, the rest of her range, I'm not gonna lie, she could have priced it so much higher, like... I mean, she's Rihanna. She could have gone more like Kylie Jenner prices, but she's kept it pretty reasonable, I think. No tea on Kylie, but I just think for a primer, it's more on the expensive side. But if it's good, then we're cool. Okay, let's open it. Oh, girl. This packaging is bougie. Bougie. Is it a frosted glass bottle? Comes with a pump. Nude. This is everything. The aesthetics of this packaging. 10 out of 10 from me. Ooh, kind of looks like a moisturizer. I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers because it's just what I do. Feels nice. It just feels like a moisturizer, to be honest, which is actually really nice because it does say soft matte, so I didn't want it to, you know, like, suck all of the moisture out of my face. Like, my face doesn't feel like the Sahara does it right now, so we're cool. Feels so soft. If I look up close to my mirror, it hasn't, like, filled in my pores or anything. I can still see them, but it feels and looks more smooth, if that makes sense. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's a primer. It's kind of hard for me to give you guys anything at the moment, but so far, so good. I ain't mad at this. Not at all. It is time for foundation. Now, she has freaking killed it with the foundation. She's come up with 40 shades. 40 shades. I just think it's so funny. I love how Rihanna has managed to come out with 40 shades, but other makeup brands yet haven't quite been able to do that. She's coming for ya. So the foundation is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I picked up the color 330, which was part of the more tan range. To be honest with you, I just guessed. Didn't really know what I was doing. I was like, that'll do. So fingers crossed it actually matches. 24 pounds for this, which that is not bad at all. I've paid more for a foundation than that. I think I paid like nearly 40 pounds for a foundation, which 40 pounds, like 24 pounds. I don't think that's bad at all. So, oh, and by the way, you actually get 32 mil in here, which is actually two mil more than the average foundation. She's not playing. It says to shake well. That doesn't feel right, I'm using my left hand. Okay. So the claims on it are medium to full coverage, which I can test today because my skin is uh, trying me. Long wear and light as air. So we're gonna test that out. Now it does say it's a soft matte finish and I'm not usually a matte kind of girl, to be honest. I do prefer more of a dewy kind of finish because uh, I love the glow. But then I do have oily as F skin, so this could work. But I'm gonna use a sponge to do it just to see if I can add a little bit of moisture back in. Please ignore the fact that this is one of the Diddy sponges. I couldn't find my bigger one, so. Using the baby. Pump some on the back of my hand. I did two pumps. Ooh, pretty liquidy though, can you see that? Oh, it's running. Okay, let me just move my hair out of the way because I don't wanna get foundation in it. Okay, so the color is definitely a bit too dark for me. We just drag it down, it's fine. <laughs> so them two pumps have covered the bottom half of my face. It's definitely medium coverage though, because I can still see all of my like scarring. 
through the foundation. It has oxidized pretty bad, like, I'll show you. This is the, the color it went on as. This is the color it is now. Like, it is oxidized. I'm gonna switch to a brush and see if it gives me a bit better coverage. The good thing is it is definitely buildable. I've managed to cover everything way better and I feel like the brush actually gives you more coverage. I mean, I don't look like a Victoria sponge cake, so we're good. Do you know what? I'm actually kind of liking this. <laughs> Apart from the shade, I should have gone lighter for sure. So guys, 330 is pretty dark. I should have gone a couple shades lighter because one, it's kind of dark in the first place and then two, it oxidizes and I'm just like, well, that's it. The finish is actually really, really nice. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like it because of the matte hole situation, but it still has a bit of life to it, like a bit of... <laughs> right, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly apply some concealer. They did have a matchstick which you can use to highlight and conceal, but I don't really use them sort of stick thingy my bobbies. It's just not really my kind of thing. So yeah, I'll be back, one sec. So I mean, now that I've got concealer on, the shade actually isn't that bad, like... We kind of, it, 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 I mean, it's working. By the way, for concealer, I used the, where's it gone? Maybelline Fit Me, one of my faves. If you was wondering what I used. But now it is time to cream contour. This is one of her matte match sticks. Matte match it. Say that 10 times over. In the color Truffle. Now I never really cream contour. Oh, that's cute. I never really cream contour unless it's morning night out. I usually prefer powders, but let's give this a go. This is what it looks like. Ooh, there is something just so satisfying about a fresh product. How much do you get? Okay, I mean that's not awful. That's okay Pop this way would usually do some contouring feels more like kind of dry not dry hmm, I feel like that sounds pretty bad. The consistency is not as creamy as I thought it would be. Oh, also, by the way, Truffle is more of the neutral shades. It's not too warm, not too cool, because I cannot deal with a cool contour, you guys. Like, I just look ashy AF, and it's just, it's not cute. Oh, my hoop's getting in the way. I mean, it's definitely blending, but you do have to sort of work with it, you know? It's not like my hula contour stick where I'm like, done. But then again, it has done the job, like, Kinda got a little bit of a cheekbone going on. Kinda. <laughs> I can wish I got too much of a round face to have cheekbones. <laughs> Let's see if it dries quickly, cause this has been on my skin for a little bit. No, not really, to be honest, it's blending out just as much as this one did, so. Which is good, cause it's not one of those products that you put on your face and then there's just no going back. Like that ish is just staying there. So basically you've got blending time, which I mean is nice because there's only so quick that my arm can blend. <laughs> Kinda like it. It is definitely more on the sort of thicker side, like a thicker, <laughs> what's this? More of a thicker consistency, but having said that, it blended out nicely, just need a little bit more time to sort of work with it, but it doesn't look muddy, it doesn't look gross, it doesn't look gross. <laughs> it looks nice on the skin, so yeah, I like it. Before I go ahead and powder my skin, I have one more cream product to test out. So this is another matchstick, but this is their Shimmer skin stick. I got really out of breath then, why? Why? So it looks exactly the same as the contour stick. I've heard they're magnetic. Ooh, that, okay, that was not as smooth as I wanted. Hey! Which I think that's so cool. Like such a good idea. The Shimmer Skin Stick in Trippin. Oh, okay. That is a lot more pink than I thought it would be. Oh, wait, actually, it's like a rose gold. Can you guys see that? It's like a golden rose sort of color. Do I just do this kind of? I don't know. I feel like the consistency of it, I just want to warm it up with my finger first and then apply it. So I think I'll do that. I just feel like if I go like this, I'm going to disturb my foundation and stuff and I don't want that. I can't really see anything happening. I can see a bit of a pink tint, but I can't actually see any sort of like glow. Like where? Where are you? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know about this one, you guys. I like where? Where are you? I mean, maybe I'm just used to having a highlighter that's like, freaking bam, you know? But this is just not doing it for me. This is just not doing it for me. I don't feel like this is necessary, to be honest. I feel like if her powder highlighters are banging, then do you need this? I don't really think so. It's either there and really subtle or I'm just blind. I did, however, pick up, if I can find it, one of her powder duo highlighters. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead, set my face, add a little bit of color. 
And let's hope that this is a little bit better and more blinding than this because honey, uh, this wasn't doing it for me. So yeah, I will be back in literally three, two, one. Okay, so I'm back. I also went ahead and just threw on some eye makeup because she doesn't have any eye makeup to test out, so I thought, I may as well. If you were wondering what I used, I used a few colours from the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. I used the Ofra Brown Gel Liner for my wing, and then my lashes are Rodeo Drive by Backstage. And then I just used the Body Shop bronzer for a little bit of colour. Also, completely forgot to mention, but the matchsticks are £21 each. Right, okay, so it is now time to highlight my face because I'm feeling hella matte right now. I just don't like it. I need that highlight in my life. This is the upside down. Killer Watt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Mean Honey and Hustler Baby. Oh my god, that's such a cool name. So this is what it looks like. It's that more golden toned highlighter, which I'm all for. This one here looks more highlightery, so I'm gonna use it. Highlightery. <laughs> is that even a word? Okay, Riri, don't let it go down. Yes! Like, that was what I was looking for. Like this. This is a freaking highlight. Cupid's bow and nose. Mm, can I like drown myself in this? Is that is that okay? This is literally what I've been after this whole time. This didn't give me that, but this did. Here's the highlights on my hand so you can see. So the one I used is way more intense than this one, which I like because you get the option to choose whether you want something like, mm, or whether you want a little bit more like, subtleness, which is cool. So it caters for everyone, I feel like. It's 26 pound. I love the packaging. I love the product. I feel like this is a more sort of calm down version to the really, really gold intense one that she has, which I was going to pick up because that looks bomb. Like it's so intense, but I feel like I would have just looked like I had a gold streak on my face and I just would have looked funny. Whereas I feel like on darker complexion, that's going to look so hot. And I feel like this is way more of a subtle version. It's still nice and gold, but a wearable gold. In my opinion, I feel like the super gold one that she has is more of an editorial kind of thing. I still think it's really cool though, but I love this. I love this! Woo! Riri killed it with a highlight. She did that. She did this. She did this. Then the last thing I have to test out is her gloss bomb. So it's a universal lip luminizer, which I love a good gloss. The packaging, yes, that's cute. I think what I'm gonna do is try this on by itself so you guys can see the color and the gloss and then I'll take it off and put a lip color on and then put this on top because that's what I would probably typically do unless this looks like really good by itself and I don't have to, but we'll see. This is 16 pounds, which I feel like is kind of good. It looks like you get quite a lot of product in there because it's quite like chunky, chunky. <laughs> it's a little like chode, look at it. Anyway, whoa, look at that dope applicator, like that. It is huge. Are you kidding? That smells, oh, that smells incredible. It smells like strawberries. <laughs> Just smell like, oh, I actually did. Mmm. <laughs> That's nice. The applicator is actually really easy to apply because it's so big, it's just like, done. It's super glossy, like super glossy. Not sticky at all. Kind of a thick formula, but not sticky. The color is just a really, really natural tint. Cute! I'd leave it like this. I think it's nice, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a color on underneath. I'm gonna keep it nude because the gloss is kind of a nude color. I do love a good nude as well. I'm throwing it back with a bit of MAC Myth. Do love this lipstick. Gloss over the top. Yes! I liked it before, but I prefer that so much better. Okay, so this is the completed makeup look, and you know what? Riri did this. I mean, I have to give it to her. She has pretty much smashed this. There's only a couple things which, to be honest, I don't really care for, but some of the things I tried are amazing, and you can tell she's put so much thought and consideration into it that I think that just makes it 10 times better. If you are curious to know what I think you need in your life and then what I don't really feel like you need, like mm. my three favorites have to be the highlighter, the lip gloss and the foundation. If you wanna get anything from the collection, check these bad boys out. And then to be honest, I don't really care for the sticks. I don't feel like the contour is bad at all. I'm just not really gonna reach for these. They didn't wow me or like blow my mind or anything. Everything else. I'm down for. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button because it lets me know that you guys like these kind of videos and I keep making them for you. And if you do, maybe, just maybe, want to see a little bit more of me, don't forget to subscribe before you go. I just want to take a moment and thank you guys so much for all your love and support. It literally blows my goddamn mind. Love you. And thank you so, so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I love every single one of you, and I will see you all in my next one. Mwah. Bye.